Hi guys! In this video, we're going to go over IXL topic S.2, writing an equation from words. As you can see here, I've pulled up a keyword math operation symbol chart, where each box is split up into our four operation symbols, and there's a list of words that go with each of those operation symbols. I've also added on a little reminder in our subtraction box that whenever we see the word than, we have to switch the order from what we see in the problem. So anytime we see fewer than or less than, we're going to have to remember to switch. Okay, let's get started. We're going to pull up S.2, and I'm actually going to write on our little notebook paper because you know me, I like to have an extra visual. So let's start. Number one, J reduced by 215 equals 92. So we're going to write it exactly how we see it. And everywhere we can turn a word into a math symbol, we're going to do that. So J reduced by is going to be subtraction. What number is it being reduced by? 215 equals 92. And now we're going to type that in. So we're going to do J minus 215 equals 92. Very good. Let's look at number 2. N less than 18 is 332. Okay, here is one of those keyword that's a flip word. Okay, we're going to have to remember when we write this that it's going to switch the order. So instead of N less than 18, that's going to be written as 18 minus N equal to 332. I'm going to type that in here, 18 minus n equals 332. Woohoo! Okay, number three. A times 269 equals 29. Okay, so for multiplication, now that we're in seventh grade in algebra, we do not want to use an x for multiplication, but we want to use parentheses. So we're going to take 269 times a equals 29. Now we don't need our parentheses because we have a variable right there and we know that a number times a variable is just going to be represented like so. So 269a equals 29. 269a equals 29. All right, next question. 268 is equal to 349 reduced by Z. Awesome. Okay, so we have right away 268 is equal to. Is equal to is going to be an equal sign. Now we have 349 reduced by z is going to be minus z. Let's type it in. So we have 268 equal to 349 minus z. Brilliant! Okay, write the sentence as an equation. Number 5. N divided by 226 is the same as 341. So we're going to take our variable N divided by 226 equal to 341. Now it says here type a slash if you want to use a division sign. So what we're going to do is N slash 226 equals... 341. Good job. Okay, number six. 55 less than A is equal to J. Okay, again, right away we see less than. That is a switch word. So we're going to do A minus 55 equal to J. So we're just rewriting it exactly how we see it. 
everywhere we can turn a word or phrase into a operation symbol, we're doing that. So A minus 55 equals J. Submit. Good work. Okay, let's do just a few more before you are free to work by yourself. So, we have 3 multiplied by G equals 169. Remember, when we're multiplying, we're going to use parentheses always. But we also know in algebra that this is the same exact thing as 3G equals 196. So we're going to type in 3G equals 196. Whoops. All right, try number eight. 317 is the same as P increased by 198. Okay, so we are starting out 317 is the same as, is the same as, is equals P, so you write P, plus 198. All we're doing is translating our math sentence into numbers variables and operation symbols p plus 198 okay c reduced by 193 is equal to 206 so c reduced by a subtraction 193 is our next number is equal to 206 we're going to type that in C minus 193 equals 206. 74 equals the product of 379 and N. So 74 equals product is a multiplication keyword. So we're going to multiply 379 times N which we know can be written as 74 equals 379n, right next to each other. So 74 equals 379n. Okay, let's just do a couple more and then you'll be free. C is 184 increased by the product of 145nc. All right, let's translate. So it says C is, so C equals 184 increased by. So 184 increased by is addition. The product of 145 and C. So we're multiplying 145 times C. So our final answer is going to be C equals 184 plus 145C, like that. Let's just make it a little neater. Okay, C equals 184 plus 145C. Okay, number 12. 339 is 16 more than the quantity K times 12. Ooh, they're getting harder. I love it. So we have 339 equals 16 more than, so 16 plus the quantity K, K times 12. All right, so look at what's going to happen here. We are going to... We write this as 339 equals 16 plus 12K. Remember, we always want to put the number first and the variable second. So now we're going to type that in. 339 equals 16 plus 12K. Super. All right, I think that's enough practice. You can go try on your own now. Good luck.